Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I want to show you uh, how to add pagination or pagination. To be honest, I don't know how to say this word. I even had to use Google Translate. Uh, this is how it sounds. Pagination. Pagination. Okay, a pagination bar. And this was requested by uh, one of uh, uh, my followers. He asked how to do this part and that's what I'm going to show you. Now, uh, it may be used in different uh, ways, but uh, this is the home page, right? So, uh, usually it's going to work only with repeaters. So, if you have repeaters and let's say you have multiple properties, but on this page you're only showing three, but you want to keep showing more that you have on that listing without having to show all at the same time, but instead of like a pagination, then this is how we're going to do it. Uh, so we're going to go to the editor and it's super easy. This video is pretty much going to be the fastest probably I have. Uh, so once you're on your page or the area where you want to add the pagination, uh, you just gotta go to the toolbar right here. On the search bar, you can just type uh, pagination. So it's actually right there already, pagination. And it's called pagination bar. And you have a few options, as you can see right here. I have uh, the progress bar and I have this one right here. So you can select the one that you like the most. In this case, we're just gonna select this one and we're gonna add it right there. So at first it shows you a bunch of pages because it's just a sample, but all you gotta do is make sure you just connect, sorry, just connect it to your data set. And this is gonna work only if you have a repeater. And two, you already have to have your repeater connected to your data set. And if you don't know how to do that process, let me know, I can show you how to connect repeaters with your database or your data set okay so once you add it all you gotta do is just select on the little snake and just connect to the uh, data set that you have in your page and that's it now you're gonna see we're gonna go to preview and now I have two pages so whenever I go to the number two it's gonna show me this the, the other properties I have there and then number one. So now to show you a little bit, uh, I would say like uh, more pages, uh, we're gonna add one more, uh, three more properties. So this is what we can do. Actually, we're gonna do this. First, we're gonna make sure we only display, let's say two properties. That way we can play for it. And right here, we're just gonna select two. And then we're just going to see now he added one more page here because it's not showing all of them. And if I only add one at a time, so let's say I'm only displaying one property so I can go to preview and I have six different properties and I can just go like this and he automatically changes it. So now is uh, changing the properties based on this and this is very useful uh, if you want to save space so instead of displaying like 20 different properties on one page which can be a lot because people have to be scrolling uh, and you gotta always keep that in mind don't don't see it on the perspective of just the desktop but remember people mostly are gonna be on their phones so this is gonna definitely gonna help, uh, help like uh, minimize the space on the phone and as you can see right here and they can just go here of course you're gonna adjust it right now it's not aligned so let's actually fix a little bit gonna go to the editor and we're gonna add it right here we're gonna move it down here let me move this right here perfect so this is how how it will be right so instead of people having to scroll down all the way to look at the properties uh, they can just go here and look at each property now another thing is if you see everything very messed up is because this is just a testing page but I just wanted you to show uh, I want to show you how the pagination or pagination works 
so there it is so hopefully this video was helpful and please leave me a comment let me know if you want something else uh, I'm still working on a big project right now it's a success calendar so I'm gonna be have uh, ready very soon and I'm gonna share with you guys so you guys can also use it and I'm also gonna show you how I built it and could potentially help you create more awesome stuff and again I have spoke to Wix directly uh, so they they're saying that they're gonna be adding new content very soon so that's very important to know so if you guys have a question again just let me know if you need help i'll be very happy to help you and uh, we'll stay connected take care